We're really excited to show you guys the pilot for our new series. It's set in the year 4000 and we call it Futurella. Vendamon, it has come to my attention that this company has been paying you to do nothing but loaf about on the couch. You call that a couch? I demand a pillow. We come a long way, baby. The fruit of the robot's labor was this. The stately 1992 Latura. Hey, my girlfriend had one of those. Actually, it wasn't hers, it was her dad's. Actually, she wasn't my girlfriend. She just lived next door and never closed her curtains. Fry, remember when I told you about always ending your stories a sentence earlier? One of these days, Alice. Bang. Zoom. Straight to the moon. Wow. I never realized the first astronauts were so fat. That's not an astronaut. It's a TV comedian. And he was just using space travel as a metaphor for beating his wife. <laughs> Give him hell, Morbo! Prepare for pleasantries! So, Fry, what do you do for a living? Me? Um... Can I phone a friend? You can't bend a wooden door. I know that and you know that. But this door looks pretty stupid. What time is it? Time for you to shut up. Maybe there's another way. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. Huh. Well, sorry, Bender. I guess I owe you an apology. Hey, wait! What's going on through that doorway? Let's go, Doc. Chop him up. I got a rich customer who needs that kidney. Stop. There, see? I didn't use your toothbrush. You stole my kidney! Don't try to change the subject. Over the course of this escape-proof workshop, your software will be reprogrammed through prayer and by some tech support guys in India. But I read in Esquired magazine that some robots are hardwired to be robosexual. Don't believe those lies, son. The only lies worth believing are the ones in the Bible. Poplars are intelligent. This one called me Mama. Congratulations. I assume Amy is the father. Poplars can't talk. Leela must be hallucinating from not eating enough poplars. Here, eat some now. No! I said eat. Come on, mind you. <gasps> <gasps> Sorry, babies. Leela, maybe you should lie down. Yes, listen to the father. A train got crashed in New Jersey. Want to see? People won't be late for work, though, because the governor lady said, I'm sending in more trains. Morbo can't understand his teleprompter. He forgot how you say that letter that looks like a man with a hat. It's a T. It goes T. Hello, little man. I will destroy you! They're going to destroy the entire Earth if they don't see some stupid TV show about some bimbo lawyer? It's crazy. How could they even know about a show from a thousand years ago? Well, Omicron Percy I-8 is about a thousand light years away. So the electromagnetic waves would just recently have gotten there. You see, magic. Got it. Mm, guess I better head over to my night job. You have a night job? Yep, it's exhausting, but I need the extra money to buy coffee so I can stay awake for my night job. But... Gotta go. I'm going to remind Fry of his humanity the way only a woman can. You're going to do his laundry? Fry, this is for you. Beep. Oh, for God's sake. What happens if the fire goes out? We'll go across the street to Pottery Barn and steal their fire. We could use my new invention, a pointy rock tied to a stick. Outsiders, defend the fire. The Vegas odds tonight stand at an unprecedented 1,000 to zero. A bet of zero dollars on Bender pays $1,000 if he wins. Still, 
very few takers. It's not, not a smart bet. Look at him. I'm so proud. Thanks, Professor. Not you. <laughs> this is the brass ring, fellas. Planet Sphere on one. Cool effect. It's a desolate, ugly little planet with absolutely no natural resources or strategic value. Questions? Why is this godforsaken planet worth dying for? Don't ask me. You're the one who's going to be dying. You're both naughty for disregarding each other's feelings. But we set things right. Fry even risked his life to get me a present. But what about your other co-workers? Did either of you ever stop to think about Dr. Zoidberg's feelings? No, I swear! Santa has something very special in his sack for you two. Continue returning fire! What? Ah! What did they say? I don't know! I can't hear a thing! Hey, what's everybody talking about? Okay, Fry, grab a Kleenex for this one, cause there's no God, and your idiotic human ideals are laughable! <laughs> Whew, that's a load off my mind. Man, I guess it's harder than I thought to make someone cry. You did your best, Bender. Up yours, bimbo! <laughs> Aha! My brother's grave. Philip Fry, the original Martian. Oh, it's all lies, every word of it. He wasn't original. He wasn't a Martian. He wasn't Philip Fry. And since when is he a V? You're twice the V he ever was. It's the note I found with Leela the day she was abandoned. But it's written in alienese, so no one on Earth can translate it. Not even Brainzilla. Hand it over. Sure. I just wish I could be more helpful. Would you like some dirt on any other orphans? Look, I'm trying to save someone here. I'll have to come back for those later. There, good as new. Don't you need this one? Oh, no. That's my... <laughs> gotcha. I'm not really a giant fly. I'm a horrible robot! <sighs> Ah, kill all humans! Ah! <laughs> Dear God, he's having a heart attack! Eh, yeah, they'll probably find a cure for that in the future. We have a cure for it now! Oh, good, then you won't mind if I use this. <laughs> I didn't know we had a panic room. Me neither. It really could have come in handy. Like 50 times. We'll be safe in here. The walls are impregnable. And we have enough food and board games to survive for weeks. We'll be dead within an hour. Let us join forces before the light of good is extinguished forever. You calling me crazy? Just because I got a hotel in my foot don't make me a boogaloo, moogaloo, moogaloo. Pardon? Stop laughing at me, flying avocado. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, moving along, then. <laughs> ah, Bender, this is a surprise for you, finding me in the refrigerator. True, but at least I don't have the hiccups anymore. What up? Oh, well, it so happens I'm in the mood to make a deal with you. Forget it, you can't tempt me. Really? There's nothing you want? Hmm, I forgot you could tempt me with things I want. Bender's right. Kill it before someone names it. No, Mr. Peppy just wants to be our friend. Oy. Look, I know he's ugly and kind of corrosive, but we can't murder someone just because he's hideous and annoying. That's what we said about Zoidberg, and look where that got us. Amy has a point. Mr. Peppy's not like Zoidberg. He's my friend. Oh. Uh... Congratulations, Death Ballers. We've won the right to explore the anomaly. What? I thought I was playing for my freedom. No. Will you marry me? Yes! Yes! Oh! oh, I'm just glad I didn't live to see this day. Wait a second. No! Papa, Papa, 
filler in your mouth when you come to Fishy Joe's. What they're made of is a mystery where they come from. No one knows. You can pick them, you can lick them, you can chew them, you can stick them. If you promise not to sue us, you can shove one up your nose.